Okay, my tip is how to um, cut bias strips for either piping or uh, a bias bound edge in an efficient manner in a small space. I don't always have a big free space on my cutting table, so this will help you. Uh, it'll speed you up and it'll make you a little more accurate. A half yard cut of fabric is a good length to start with to cut piping or bias. You'll have two torn edges and this is the length of your fabric. Take the salvage edge and bring it up and match it to the torn edge. That's both straight grains together. The line that you end up with is the true bias, 45 degree line of the fabric. If you don't have a large table space to work with, think to fold bias to bias. So you're going to take this edge and fold it up onto this edge. It wouldn't matter if I did this or if I did this, I would end up with the same thing. Bias to bias. Now you're just cutting on a small, manageable distance. Take your ruler and trim one quarter of an inch off of this edge. You now have a straight, clean line to work off of. I would cut one inch bias strips to make piping with. As I'm cutting, I'm going through four layers, which is efficient and easy to do as necessary as you keep working up your fabric. You can continue adjusting this as you need to cut multiple layers. On this sample of this little garment, it has bias all over the place on it. The hemline has it, the jacket is bound with it, there's a turned bias tube that closes the jacket and the neckline of the little smock dress is bound. And all of these edges would have been cut this way with, to get either one inch or two inch wide bias.